In this video, I'm gonna have a first look at the brand new mailing boss from Builderall's latest 5.0 update. Hello and welcome to this video. My name is Ari Omlan. If you are new to this channel, welcome. I hope you will find this video helpful. And in today's video, I'm gonna have a first look at the new mailing boss from Builderall's 5.0 update that they recently had. So I've not looked into mailing boss yet. I've just watched a few videos of it. So it should be exciting to see the new updates. Of course, it's a brand new tool. So they have not just taken the old mailing boss and made it better. They have made a brand new app. So I have quite high expectations of this one because I wasn't really a big fan of the old mailing boss. I didn't find it very easy to use. It wasn't very beginner friendly. It took some time for me to understand how it works. So I'm hoping that this new mailing boss will be much better. Keep in mind this is a beta test so they're not completely done with it but should give us a good idea of what this app will look like. So now I'm in the dashboard of Billroll. If you haven't signed up to Billroll yet I have a link down below where you can try it for 14 days for free. You will get more than two thousand dollars worth of bonuses by doing that. So there's a link for that down in the description below. Once we are at the dashboard, I'm gonna go to apps and then go into mailing boss 5.0 and we're going to let it load. Right, so the first thing I notice here is that we have these check marks that apparently we have already created a subscribers list. I'm guessing that those are the lists from the old mailing boss. Let's just go in and see the list to to see what list these are. Email marketing list, this is just, okay, it's just a random list that they have created, so it's actually not my old ones. I'm curious to see how easy it is to transfer these old lists uh, or the list from the old mailing boss to the new one, but here they have just created an email marketing list. So let's just click on create list and see how easy it is. List name, we're just going to name it test. Opt in, let's have it single. Opt out, single as well. Description, test, email, list. Check this option if you want to create an instant message list with phone and prefix fields. Okay, we're not gonna do that now. So I'm just gonna hit save. Okay, so this is, it looks completely different to the old one. So you can see that we have the email. We also want to add the first name. So we have two fields here. So that when people join our list, we want to have uh, first name and also their email checkbox field. So it looks like we can just drag and drop these fields. So let's say we want to have date field so that people will have to enter the date that they joined, mm, field name, date. So I don't usually do that. I just have the first name and the email. So I'm just gonna delete this, but seems like you can just add some fields here. Also search by field name. So let's delete this, double click. Let's take a look at some of these other ones. List data. This is where you can uh, have another email. The from email. Also, you can change the from name and the company name. And uh, you can add this welcome email as well. You can add some tags here. So you can tag people who join this list. Subscribers, of course, this is where you'll find your email subscribers. Segments, I'm not sure what this is. Pages and emails. Okay, so these, this is where you want to change, like when people join your list, what page do they go to? So subscription confirmed. Quite often you will have some sort of thank you page. So let's see if that is possible. It, I'm sure it is. Subscription confirmed. So I thought that there would be a place to add 
like a URL for a thank you page. Can't seem to find it right now, but I'm sure it's here somewhere. So let's just go back and go back home. I want to see how easy it is to create a campaign. So let's go to campaigns here. Okay, see list of sent campaigns, create a new record, test, and let's do an autoresponder. I'm gonna use the test list sequence. There's no sequence yet. Save. So the subject, test, and test. Send your email, let's just put this one, reply to, doesn't really matter, to name. Let's do F name and hit save. Okay, so now you can add when you want to send this email. So after they subscribe, we're gonna do one hour after they subscribe. I'm gonna activate it now. Send to existing subscribers, send email tests. Then of course you want to click save and activate. That was actually very easy. It was easier than on the old mailing bus, so that's great. Let us take a look at how the workflow is now because I'm really curious to see this. How is lead going to join the workflow? Start by defining how your leads will be part of the workflow. So basically they're asking like what is going to be the trigger for this workflow. So you can have like when they click a link, then you'll send an email sequence. Or you can have when they open a campaign, then you're gonna have a new email sequence to them. Or just when they subscribe to a list. So we're gonna start by doing that on subscribe at when they subscribe to the test list, then this email sequence will be triggered. So they join the workflow, then let's just add let us add a campaign. So we will have to create a new campaign, which is fine. Okay, I'm not gonna do that now. I just did that recently. So you can see there are a bunch of actions here that you can uh, add in. So you can say that once they have gotten like five emails, then we're gonna copy them to a new list. We're gonna just move them to a list or they're gonna copy them to another workflow. We can send a campaign or instant message. You can add a tag so that you know that, okay, when these people or these subscribers have received these five emails, then I'm gonna tag them so that later, if you want to send an email to those people who have received those five emails already, you can just send it to the tagged people. You can have flow division as well. Let's see what this is. Add a condition, so. List is equal to. So if a person exists, okay, what is this? Okay, let's just see what happens now. Okay, so we can actually divide them and say that if a person opened this email, then you're gonna send them this email. If they didn't open the email, then you're gonna send them another email. So that is awesome because from what I know, they didn't have that before, but this is actually really, really cool that you can now add this flow division and have different emails sent to different parts of your email list. So that was just a very quick look into the new mailing bus. From what I see, it looks really, really nice. If you go back home, you can also connect your domain. You want to do that. Otherwise, your emails are probably going to end up in spam. So make sure you have real domains and real emails 
on those domains. Okay, so that was just a first look. After a few weeks or months of trying this new mailing boss and the new build role, I will make a new and more detailed video on how to use the mailing boss and the other new tools in the new 5.0 update. But I hope you found this helpful. If you have any questions, make sure to leave them in the comment section below. And again, if you haven't signed up to build role yet, you can join 14 day free trial through the link in the description and you will get more than two thousand dollars worth of bonuses for free now if you want to learn how you can make passive income with builder world you should check out this video that i did a couple of weeks ago so click right here and i will see you in the next one